I'm George Davison. I graduated from Missouri Military Academy in May of 1968. I attended MMA for eight years. My grandson is Sean Mum. Sean lives with me and his mother, another grandson, Eli, in Des Moines, Iowa. He's a seventh grader currently here at Missouri Military Academy, and he is hopefully going to graduate in the class of 2027. He's always been a respectful young man, but he's using yes sir and no sir and yes ma'am and no ma'am. He stands up straighter. He takes pride in his clothing. He is working hard to do good work in class if we can get him to get his planner turned in and his homework turned in. And that was one of the problems we had with him uh, in the school in, in Des Moines that he was attending. He would forget to turn in his homework. Now he's held accountable for failing to do that. For Sean, it is a great place. It is allowing Sean to grow. It is allowing Sean to do things that he was not able to do even in Des Moines, which has a lot of opportunities. Uh, in seventh grade, he's now in the marching band. He has developed very good technique on his trumpet because of the instruction that he's been receiving here. He's also learning how to take care of things for himself. He's learning that you have to ask questions. He's learning that just because you think you know the answer, you don't always do so. And he's also learning that important element of self-discipline. I keep coming back to self-discipline because that is one of the things, in my opinion, that is so important to be a successful individual. With Sean as a legacy, both my brother and I are extraordinarily proud that he is able to continue the family tradition here. We're hopeful that he will be able to move ahead as he gets a little bit older and is eligible for rank. But he is showing right now, from what I can tell, he's showing the character that we want a young man who attends MMA to have. And I think of the motto, which when I was a cadet, when my brother was a cadet, this motto had kind of fallen aside. Love, honor, and truth. Our motto at that time was look like a soldier and act like a gentleman. They're both very good mottos because they emphasize what MMA attempts to do for a young man.